Shaheen, President of Mississippi Lottery Corporation. Good morning, Tom. How are good, you, sir? Good morning, Paul. It is a pleasure. I do not like the fact that this is the exit interview because uh, you just got here. Well, almost two years. Has it been that long? Yeah, I got here June 1st of uh, 2019. We hardly knew you, sir, right. but... Um, I know it was a. It, it, I guess it was a tough decision. When you came in, did you tell them that this was going to be a short time? Well, we had a discussion about did it, you? and we discussed that, um, you know, how long this would be for. And uh, I, I just said, well, let's see how it goes. Yeah. I mean, you know, let's just see where where things go. Uh, I absolutely committed to a minimum of two years uh, when we sat down and talked about it. Uh, but the world's changed a lot lately, and I got kids and grandkids. Yes, and, absolutely. And they're way far away. I can understand that, and that tugs on your heart. Yeah. Ab- uh, and and uh, it makes everybody think that uh, I think they would do the same thing. I do want to ask you this. It's your overview, just an overview to the people of the state of Mississippi when you look at it when you came in. Yeah. Uh, things that were being asked, did, 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 did you get the corporation needed? Because... In my mind, putting this together it was no small feat. I, I don't, I don't even know all the bells and whistles that went into this, but I know it's not easy to do that as far as getting the the vendors together and everything else. It's just, it's starting with nothing yeah. and having to build a multi million dollar company in six months time. And uh, once a lottery gets passed, it's the same way in every state. It takes them years and years to pass yeah. it, and they want it up in three days. <laughs> <laughs> is is There can't be a lot of people in your category with your expertise across the country. Well, I don't know. There's a couple others, maybe. Well, yeah, there's a couple of others, but, I mean, there's yeah. not a whole lot of people no, to it's, choose uh, from. It's kind of a unique uh, um, thing to do because you start with nothing. You don't yeah. walk into a lottery that has 100 employees and has an office building and has all these games out for sale and has all these retailers. When I came here, there was nothing. There was absolutely nothing from no. the ground. And, and, and the only thing that you had were questions, and people had questions for you. But how did you get into this? I mean, you don't, you didn't get out of high school saying, I want to get in the lottery. And well, you know, it's funny. When I was like five years old, I decided I wanted to be a lottery director. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Nobody asked me that. Basically, no, I tell people it's no. a lottery director is usually somebody who can't get a job anywhere else, is the way I put it. Um, it's something that you fall into because it's not something that people strive for. Your okay. first entry into the, into the industry was what? In 1987 in Florida. Basically, I was uh, 34 years old, mm-hmm. between jobs, didn't know what I wanted to do. All I did know was I had two little kids and we needed money. So the Florida Lottery ran ads in the newspaper, and uh, I got in. I found out about it late, and they had some positions for sales reps. And so I went and interviewed, and they hired me, and I took it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had no intentions of staying in that business. I had come off a career in the airlines industry and when I was in middle management. But, you know, when you need a job and the kids got to eat, yeah. you take whatever job's available. What expertise is needed in there? Is it a CAP or, or a CPA uh, or is it what, what, really what, is, what do you need? A lawyer? You need to be organized. You need to be logical. You need to be able to make decisions quickly, mm-hmm. um, think things through, consider Every decision, how it affects everybody possible. And in this business, there's a lot of people that you have to think about before you make a decision. Oh, absolutely, because it's politics interwoven through all of that. Politics, anti-gambling, media, mm-hmm. uh, employees, how are they affected? Um, you know, and, you and the to, laws that uh, pretend to, yes. uh, they go to all of those things. So it's uh, it's fun. It's challenging. Um, I don't have – I didn't – I don't have a written plan. They asked me what the plan is. I said, it's all up here. I just go one, two, three, well, four, five, and get it's it done. that's all up there. <laughs> Where will retirement be or the next stage of life? Arizona. In Arizona. Yes. When you look at how it went here, because you've had some expertise before in startups, your comparisons has always been that it went pretty good here. Yes, it did. It went really well here. And I've said it from the beginning, um, and I don't say it because this is – just this happens to be the place I'm in. Yeah. I was a part of five startups. This was clearly 
the best startup I've ever been a part of. And that doesn't necessarily have everything to do with me. It's yeah. not me bragging by any means. This has to do with how everything fell into place. Well, and the team you put together. Yes, and we put a great team together, and we had to do it really quick. When we had the early days of these, people were throwing numbers around saying, we, we could do this, we could do that. We might get $80 million, but it'll be a long time. Yeah. And I, I remember having somebody on the, on the air talking about the education, and they were upset because they thought they should knock it down to about $40 million and have everything over 40 because it'll take years to get to 80 million and education would never get anything. Yeah. Boy, were they wrong. They were absolutely wrong. I was wrong. Did it, did it surprise you? It did. Um, you know, when you look historically across the country and the size of the different lotteries mm -hmm. and the restrictions we have here are basic lottery games. Okay, mm -hmm. we're restricted to like a 1990s product portfolio. Um, you know, there's states out there selling on Internet. There's states selling out there on mobile. There's states that have videos, uh, video poker, Kino. Kino, all sorts of things. And yeah. this lottery has Powerball, you know, draw games, uh, scratch-off games, yeah. daily games, and uh, that's, the, that's the market in 1990, okay? And so to come here and start it up, um, it's easy to start it up with those things because those are the basics, okay? Where the challenges will come in the next few years is where will Mississippi go from here, and that all certainly depends on the appetite. So of you're the, seeing with more the more games we play, the the, the larger the the income's going to be. Yes, that and that's been proved. Yeah, and the more convenient it is, and you have to adapt to the market. And like I've said before on your yeah. show, guys like us, we're not going to be around forever buying scratch off tickets. Okay, yeah. these younger generation people, they do things a whole different way than we do. Well, you just got to change the scratch offs. Yeah. The uh, scratch-off games have been very, very popular, though. They've they? been fabulous. Uh, it's 84% yeah. of our sales this year. 84%? 84%. 84%. Uh, outsells Powerball, outsells Mega Millions, outsells Cash 3. Um, and that's pretty consistent around the country. Is anything you, you're going to leave behind when you do that? Well, by the way, when's the final date? June 30th. June 30th, around the corner. Anything that you wish you would have accomplished that, that, that um, you, you still got a chance? Uh, there's some things we're wrapping up right now. We've got the, as I've talked before, we've got the match five game that yeah. starts in a little bit. That'll more be done. Than a week. That'll be done before you leave. It's next week. Next um, week. Next week, uh, Wednesday's the first day of sales. Thursday's the first draw. Top prize $50,000. Um, we're uh, getting our retailer portal up, which the retailers will be happy. It's a, it's a separate portal on our website just for them. Um, all the information that they need about their sales and everything will be up there for them. So it'll be closed circuit, but they'll have the yes, password to get in? Yes, they will. Uh, we're getting our jackpot signs out, hopefully mm -hmm. before I leave. You know, the stores don't have the big jackpot signs yet. Um, those should be out uh, before I leave. Uh, so we've had one big, uh, uh, um, when, when it was up to almost three-quarters of a billion dollars. Yeah, well, and now we're getting uh, pretty heavy on the, as far as mega millions. It's what, tomorrow night? 257, two, I think. Yeah, I think I said, yeah, 257 cash out at 175.9. So I would think most people take that cash out. but They all know. take it now. Yeah. The, uh, we've had some pretty good winners here. We've had some. In we've the had state. A couple of uh, um, $2 million winner or two or three $1 million mm -hmm. winners, a lot of $50,000 winners in Powerball and Mega Millions, and, of course, in the instant games, we have all kinds of winners. We just transferred to education. We'll tell you how much. Over that $80 million, if you haven't heard, we'll tell you how much that is because it succeeded all expectations. Another segment with the one and only President of Mississippi Lottery. 